Well, that time of the year has finally come where the snow falls and it gets cold outside and all your projects start to move inside. Well, with the exception of where you store your drinks. This vending machine has been running reliably now for a significant number of years. I think almost five. And it sits outside simply because whenever you run this thing it would heat up the house inside. <laughs> That's a bad idea. So of course it makes practical sense to put the vending machine outside where the cold in the winter can definitely help keep your selection of drinks cold. But it can get too cold outside. And that poses a problem both mechanically and for the integrity of your drinks themselves. And I have a solution for that. Let's put the key in. <clears throat> so, of course, even the handle's frozen up. There we go. So, Inside the machine, it's just running away happily. I can hear a fan that's burring away inside, but I don't hear a compressor, and that's because it's so cold that the inside of the box um, satisfies super easily. Like, it'll turn on in the morning, and the compressor won't turn on because, oh, it's already, like, minus two inside the box. So, that inductive fan in there is a little bit of a problem because in the middle of winter, or these days where it's cold but not super cold because it's an inductive fan motor it will always generate heat and as a result the inside of the box will eventually heat up to a point where the compressor is going to turn on even though it's so cold outside it really doesn't need to be running the compressor we don't want to put that extra stress onto the compressor so what would happen is that your oil thickens up you got to remove refrigerant in such a cooler situation, also the fact that it's just not going to work as efficiently. Plus it wastes energy on top of that. So you'll notice down here I have these two controllers. One of them says compressor cold temperature lockout and it's labeled for 30 degrees Fahrenheit. When the ambient air temperature outside hits 30 degrees and begins to go below that, the compressor is turned off like it's physically locked out. So now it cannot operate the compressor, even if inside of here um, does get to what, like two, three degrees, four degrees maybe. Your drinks are gonna be a little bit warmer in the winter, but for good purpose on that. But wait, remember, I'm quite energy conscious about this thing. As a result, I do have this kilowatt hour meter up here, which is telling me just how much power I've used since I've installed it. But at the same time, there's no point running a vending machine in the middle of the night when everyone's asleep and no one's going to be using it. So, of course, I do run this on a seven-day timer. So it turns off at around mm, 10 o'clock at night on weekdays. And, you know, Fridays and Saturdays, it turns off at midnight. Whatever. During that time, however, let's say it gets cold outside, and it's going to be, what, minus 10, minus... 20 it gets to that at that point there um, your non-alcoholic drinks like say your Pepsi are gonna freeze and even for your alcoholic drinks which usually only begin to slush up at like minus 5 minus 8 those are going to start freezing as well you don't want that and your fans not on because the whole machine is turned off because of the timer so we have the second one here which is called the winter heater. That one turns on at 23 degrees Fahrenheit. And if we just double check over on our timer here again, we have an extra cable which completely bypasses the timer. And that's this thermostat here. And you know how everybody loves those like vintage light bulbs? Like they're kind of dim, but they look like they're from the 1920s. I have one of those hidden in here. You can just kind of see it right there. The great thing about these is that, sure, um, they look cool and they're dim, but those are 60 watt bulbs. They're horrendously inefficient. There's a reason why we don't use that style anymore. That's um, like 25 watts of light, and the rest of that is just lost as heat. And that's fantastic. So regardless of the condition of the vending machine here, 
if the ambient temperature gets below a set point, it'll turn on that light. And it'll keep inside of here warm-ish throughout the duration of the winter. And then automatically, once it warms up on a particularly warm day or in the spring, it turns itself off again. The result is, yes, you do get slightly warmer drinks during the winter. Oh well, that's fine. They're still okay. And at the same time, for those exceptionally cold days and nights, not a single frozen drink. Uh, there we go. You need to be greased, don't you? So that's how I take care of having a vending machine outside in private ownership and not having it freeze in the winter. It's a bit of a arm bend to make this work. And these are actually available as a commercial package, which is just basically the same thing, a timer, a thermostat, and a light. But I don't want to spend a hundred bucks on that. This is just like $10 in parts from the ReStore. But I hope you enjoyed looking at this, and I hope this is a consideration for if you want to keep your drinks from freezing in the winter. And until next time, have a good one.